Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video and this is a follow-up to my message yesterday, Yahuwah will do what's right. Um, I wanted to uh, continue on this thought of when we come before the Most High through His Son Yeshua because we, we, we come before the Father not on our own righteousness, our own holiness, but when we present ourselves to him, Yeshua said, you pray to the Father in the name of his son, Yeshua, who is our intercessor, who is our advocate, the one that when we make our petitions known unto him, then he relays it to the Father. And the Father, you know, then receives it because we can't come in our own righteousness. So let's understand that one key point. But when we come to the Father in the name of Yeshua, we must understand that if we are coming with any uncertainty to what we think uh, the Most High should, should do, uh, you're coming first in doubt. And the Bible says that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So if you're coming to the Father in the name of his Son, Yeshua, coming with a petition that you feel most high, I, I don't really know if I trust you to handle this situation the way that I want to handle. So I want to give you this set of instructions. We've already lost out right there because the Bible says when we come before him in prayer, our prayer should be uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, not our own will. And so we, we lose out from the get-go. And also from the standpoint that a lot of times we don't understand that if the Most High acted in the right way that you want him to act, Sometimes it can bring great detriment to us. Meaning, if we come for him and say, "I don't, I don't think you, you, you handle this situation the right way, Father," because so and so is getting away. You might, you might think they're getting away, but they're not. But there be could be in, uh, in excruciating circumstances that if the Most High for some reason would act the way that you wanted him to. It would just mess the whole ball of wax up. And a good uh, example of that can be found in the book of Judges, uh, chapters 19 through 21. Now, the key thing to remember about the book of Judges is that during this time of uh, Israel's existence, when they came into the land, that they quickly forgot what the Most High had done for them in Egypt and while they were in the desert. And they basically said that men descended into doing what they thought was right in their own eyes. So a lot of things that happen in uh, Judges, we cannot always try to use them as a pattern of how the Most High uh, uh, wants us to operate because it was kind of haphazard. And in this situation, uh, a, a situation had arose with a Levite whose concubine had ran away. And when he went to get her in the land of Benjamin, Judah, basically the men of the land were uh, wicked sodomites. And when he had come into the house of uh, a certain man that was there in uh, Judah, ben, uh, Benjamin, they, they took the Levites concubine and gave them to the Sodomites to kind of appease them because 
the man basically was like, don't, don't harm this man. He's under the shadow of my house. Now, we, we could go into a whole, to me, a, a sermon on this practice that you see over and over throughout the Bible where these men are taking their daughters or whoever and just say, hey, hey, here, take these women and, and satisfy yourself. And, and I definitely don't believe that that is of the Most High. I do not believe that is a, a, a commandment that the Most High or even came into his mind. But let's continue on the point. Uh, they took the woman and they basically ravished her. They really didn't want her, but they ravished her. And, uh, you know, when the morning came, she basically was dead. The, the Levite really probably didn't care that much about the, the, the concubine like that. But he, he was upset at what happened. So continue to on make the story shorter. He basically uh to 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 get back at um the benjamites he he cut the concubine up into pieces and sent her body throughout the 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 other tribes to say hey look at this wickedness that benjamin has done right they need to they need to uh, give up those wicked sons of belial that did this and so when the, the all the tribes got together they basically came to benjamin and said hey you need to give up these these wicked men, right? For what they did, you need to give up that city. Of course, Benjamin said, no, nah, we ain't going to do that because Benjamin very proud. Um, and they, uh, these, the rest of the tribes did go up to the house of Yah, which is that time was at Shiloh. That's where the Ark of the Covenant was. And they inquired at the hand of Phineas, the high priest, hey, can we go up against our brother uh, Benjamin? And, you know, from what the woman threw him that uh, 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 Phineas had it, the Most High it said, told him, hey, go up. But when they went up against Benjamin, they kept getting defeated. And they kept going, they kept going back to the, the, the house of Yah. They kept going back to Phineas and saying, hey, uh, do we need to go up against our brother? And I mean, they went several times, if you, if you read the story, and they was defeated. Handily, it said they was beaten down to the ground by Benjamin, and they couldn't understand. They said, "But most, I can imagine they saying in their mind, most how we we asked you and you told us to go up." But see, what we don't understand is the plan of Yah. In my opinion, the reason they were being defeated is because although it was wickedness in Benjamin. It was wickedness in the midst of the other tribes, too, that probably had done the very same thing. But all they looking at is, oh, yeah, Benjamin, we got we to show him, right? He can't do this, right, when the wickedness was in you. What did the Most High say in the book of Revelations about his judgment of the nations uh, of, of Babylon, right? He said, come out from among them, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin." Meaning the most, I say, you know what? You crying out day and night for me to destroy Babylon, but I can't destroy Babylon. You know why? Because you are intertwined in the midst of, and if I destroy Babylon, I'm going to destroy you at the same time. So in this sense, right, the right thing for the most high to do was to first deal with the wickedness that was amongst those other tribes before he dealt with the wickedness of Benjamin. That's why we must be very careful when we come and, and, and ask certain things because Most High looks at the whole picture. And he's looking at the whole picture that, okay, why should I destroy those sons of Belial when there's sons of Belial like that amongst the rest of the tribe? Remember what I said during this time of judges, men were doing what's right in their own eyes. So the first thing that they should have came before the Most High with and inquiring and said, is there any wickedness in us that will keep us from being able to come against our brother Benjamin? Because once the Most High said, now you can go up and you will defeat him, they was able to go up and defeat Benjamin. But what had happened was, again, not... Uh, uh, letting the Most High, uh, uh, allowing him to do what he needs to do in the time that he he wants to do it, 
they had made certain wicked oaths and, and covenants that were not were not of the most high. They had stated, hey, you know what? We're gonna kill off uh 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 all these uh um the the the, the Benjamites down to it was hardly nothing but a, a, a few thousand of them. And they had killed the, the, the women and some of the children. So much so that they said, oh, man, why did we make this oath that we would not give none of our daughters to Benjamin? Now we're going to have to go out and find women from another place for them to marry and to keep the tribe because they are pretty much almost decimated Benjamin. All of this was not the right thing to do. But if they had waited, <laughs> this all could have been avoided. The most I could have moved upon the hearts of the people to, to turn those wicked men over. But instead, the whole tribe of Benjamin almost got wiped out. And that's why they're to this day, the smallest tribe. And this is why I say we got to trust that the most high, Yahuwah, through his son, Yeshua, is going to do the right thing. We got to know that he is the great judge. And our, we cannot even compare in our understanding of, of the things that that's not to say that you don't bring your petition. I'm not saying don't bring your petition, but think wisely. Unlike these these people who came and 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 they just had you know rage in their their heart. We we're gonna show Benjamin we can't he can't do this. But again, they didn't consider within their own ranks that probably was. Wicked men of Bilal that needed to be dealt with too. It's such a, a a song that people bring up in Christian norm. and I think I'm I'm kind I'm kind of iffy about it because I don't I, I understand what the song is saying, but I think we as black people, in particular black Christians, we like to use this thing to keep people from, you know. Pointing out things that we do in our life that are not right. It's called sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep them out of mine. And it's basically like, hey, you got dirt in front of your 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 uh, back door. You need to sweep first before you look across the way and say, hey, you got some dirt on your back door. Won't you sweep it? Hey, well, take care of that dirt on your uh, back door first, and then you you will. Or as uh, Yeshua said. Take that log out of your eye so you can see clearly to take the speck out of mine. But that's not always the case. But that is what is going on, I believe, here. That the other tribes, because the most I wouldn't have allowed that number of men of them to be destroyed if there was not some wickedness amongst them also. And also he understood, man, you know, Benjamin is going to pretty much be decimated here. And the dynamics of Israel is going to be changed, right? But remember, at this time in the book of Judges, men were doing what was right in their own eyes, right? They was inquiring of Yah, but there was uh, wickedness in their heart when they was coming before him. And we can think about even in the book of uh Samuel, first Samuel, because first Samuel is a continuation almost of Judges because it isn't in that same time period that when they went out against the Philistines, remember they took what? The Ark of the Covenant and they, they felt, oh, we're going to take the Ark of the Covenant out and we're going to beat the Philistines this time before. There was wickedness amongst the tribes. And what did y'all allow? He allowed the wicked Philistines. To capture the Ark of the Covenant. And Eli's, the high priest's two sons, to be what? Killed. Ichabob was the name of one of the men, uh, at the, 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 the sons of the high priest, uh, when, when, the mother, when his wife gave birth to his child. And, and when she 
heard that the Ark of the Covenant had been captured. She named the baby Ichabod. She said, what, the glory has departed, and then she, she died. You see what I'm saying? It was wickedness amongst them, and the Most High allowed. Because by this time, they were using Yah as some kind of genie, right? They can rub up. Hey, let's go to the high priest and, and get him to sign off on us going up here against Benjamin. The Most High was like, that's not the right thing to do. I'm not going to do what you want me to do. I'm going to do the right thing. And the right thing to do is when you go up against Benjamin, I'm going to let you be defeated because it's wickedness amongst you. And once enough of your wickedness is dealt with in the midst of you, then I'll start dealing with Benjamin. So we have to be very careful when we say, oh, most high, I don't think you're doing this right. He said, no, I am doing this right. I look on the, the inward part of what's going on. You just look at the, the surface part. That's why I'm saying all this stuff that's going on with the elections and all this, this is the most high. He, I, I really believe he is uh, looking at our heart overall as the black people, how we, how we handling this. We talk, but in our heart is something different. You see? I understand about the the reparations thing. I understand that there are people, like they say, coming over here that ain't, quote unquote, did this, that, and another. And you know how I feel about that. I did a, I did a lesson on that about the, 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 the migrants that's coming over. And, my, and this is just my belief. This is what how I feel about it. Excuse me. We 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 better be we be very careful. We better be very careful because sometimes we're allowing events and, and different things is coming up to cloud our judgment. And in the Most High, He's not governed by time. He's not governed by our emotions. He's gonna do what's right. And all the 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 the, the puzzle pieces on our chessboard could be. Uh, in the right place where we think, okay, this is the move that Most High needs to make, right? And Most High, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna make that move. I'm gonna make this move, and that move could be the defeat of us. And you'd be like, hold up, Most High, why you? This is the move that you needed to make. This move would have put us right here. And the Most High, I'm like, I know what I'm doing. That move is the move that needs to be done. Can you imagine? You know, we. <laughs> If, if it was such a, a, a thing, like that the most high was on the chessboard playing against our enemies, which it really is not. Nobody's in his league, understand. He's he's basically just playing with he's really playing with the devil. I mean he could take the devil and his he could just take him out any day, but the Bible said he 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 exalts his word above his his name. So what he does is certain things that he has a certain way that he has to do things because he don't he he never wants throughout eternity anyone to be able to grovel and say, hey, you know, if he had only did this, then that would have been fair. No, he's going to do what's right. And that's why he allows. But that just say, for instance, if that was a case that he was on the chessboard with, with our enemy and we standing there right right behind the most high. <laughs> He ain't ready to make a move. And we're like, oh, and we slap it. What, what, what you doing, Most High? Don't make that move. You, you, this is the move you need to be making. You understand what I'm saying? This is the ridiculousness of my, I'm saying mine too. My, I, I, I used to think that way. And from time to time, I have to, I have to shake myself and have me understand who are you, who, who, you, who do you think you talking to? Who you think you bringing these situations up, right? The one that ho holds time and eternity existence in his hands? No. He's going to do the right thing, right? You know that movie with Spike Lee, School Days, uh, uh, and then before School Days it was do the right thing, right? Or was it after... 
I forgot which one it was. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I remember. No, it was it was another one, Holly Berry first. Then it was School Days, and then it was Do the Right Thing. Yeah, that's right. That's the order. But um, getting back to the lesson, so this is this is why I'm I'm saying this because I'm seeing that we're feeling that certain things um, might be getting ready to happen, and we think about um, when we was in the, in Christian or when we was in the Christian church. And, you know, we was we were sold out to the rapture doctrine theory, all this kind of stuff that we really never if we had studied and, and, and understood the, the patterns of how the most high we would have we would have seen through that, you know, a long time ago. But that's just just say let's go with the fact that we was engrossed in that. And, and I can remember it was so many times. Right. And you would look at the. I, was, I used to wear tea leaves. You look at the tea leaves. And, oh, yeah. It's time for the most high to act. He's surely going to act uh, um, right here because everything is set up. It's just like a Hollywood movie. If the most high just act right here, it'll just be perfect because everything is, is, is set up for it to happen. It's just like his word says. This is how the most high is going to act because he ain't got no choice. But to act that way, because that what I have speculated within my mind, and then boom, it was just like a total nothing happened. The world keep going, keep world keep moving on, or whatever. And then all those that pumped and primed certain things that they said, the Most High, he he is gonna do this. He's got he's got to do this. All that money that they accumulated from getting you hyped up and pumped up kept that money you your pockets were lighter you a lot of time that you could have did 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 certain things that the most how needed you to do with your family friends and those around you that needed whatever you 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 wasted waiting on certain prayers that you told the most how what he 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 needed to do you you in, imply to him, hey, if you don't act this way, then it must be of the devil if it don't come. No, the Most High did what's right, and what right was that? Hey, everything that you seen was only on the surface. It was other things that was going on. There was other things that was going on that you don't see. Just like here in Judges 19 through 21, where they was like, man, we're sending ourselves up against Benjamin and they cut down 20,000 men like it wasn't nothing. What's going on here? And the most eyes out here telling us we can go forth against Benjamin. But the key thing was he was not telling you that you was going to defeat him those times that you went up. He just said, OK, I, I'm, I'm basically moving out the way you want me to tell you can you go up against him yeah you can go up against him but i like um in in uh uh i robot i like um the the part where will smith's uh character he was trying to uh investigate the death of dr lanny who had given him the, his robotic arm and stuff when he lost it in a car accident and dr lanny Without doing, uh, being a spoiler, something he, he, he you know at the beginning of the movie he 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 was killed and I'm not gonna tell you who who killed him because you might want to watch the movie and it's a good movie to watch I've watched it several times and it, and it and it does make you think about the the, the age we're living in with this uh, AI but anyway Doc Dr Laney had. He, he, you know, of course, this this is set in the future with very uh, futuristic uh, gadgets and stuff, which I think some of us believe, which I do believe we have some of it. But anyway, one of the things was this little uh, a pre-made recorder that he had recorded certain things on it, and it would bring up a holographic image that would talk to him, right? But it was it was an interactive thing. And so it acted on the questions that you asked it that I guess Dr. Lanny had pro programmed into it and a hologram would come up and and and, and um, Will Smith uh, character, Detective Spooner, he said, what does this mean, Dr. Lanny? 
Dr. Lanny said, um, uh, you, he said, I am pre-programmed to ask a question, uh, uh, answer your question, but you got to ask the right question. If you ask me the right question, I can give you an answer. And so sometimes when we, we, we pray and we ask the most high, we got to ask the right question because sometimes if we don't and we will we'll go run off on a tangent. And so the most high said this, he said this, and he said, yeah, I told you this, but I, you didn't let me give you the rest of the story and you ran off half cock. I told you, okay, yeah, if you, you do this, yeah, you can go up against Benjamin, but you're not going to defeat him on this time, right? You got to ask me the right question. And the right question would have been, is there something within us that's keeping us from them? And it said they fasted and prayed and all these different things. And, oh, what is it? What's going on? I really believe that if they had asked the most high the right thing, it's like, hey, first and foremost, what do you see in us? Do you see this kind of uh activity going on in our tribes help us to get ourselves together so that when we go before Benjamin we'll we'll be able to to do what thus saith Yah but instead you know our people didn't do the right thing but the most high will always do what's right. So with that, I'm, I'm, I'm stating to you that let's be very careful of how we think things should be going here in the next year or so with the election, with how you believe the Most High has to act. That's, that's, we don't want to do too much, quote unquote, introspection, because I don't believe in that neither. I don't believe in, you know, you self-analyzing yourself in infinitum. I don't believe that. But we know we know if we got certain things going on in our life that we need to, to deal with, that we need to deal with them quickly and then wait for the most high, see what he says and then move out smartly. Because if you don't, if you can't see, um, our enemies are um, going for broke. You see the stuff that's going on there in the strip. You know, I don't want to use that word because the algorithm might key in on this. But that strip over there in that in the uh, in 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 Palestine, what's going on with what what are they what are they doing to that that that, that them people? Basically, we know the. The G word is happening to those people over there. And I don't want to use that word. But if you can read uh, 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 between the lines, the G word is going on in there, in that, in, that, in that strip in Palestine. That's what's going on. Our enemies, they're showing their teeth now. They know that their time is short. But the Most High still operates on his uh, time schedule and how he uh, knows it should be. He's gonna do the the right thing. We can we need to pray in agreement with with him. We need to pray in agreement and not try to get him to do. Oh, you you got to defeat Donald Trump and you got to get the uh, those. You got to get uh, uh or or you got to get Donald Trump in. You know. Either way, you understand, and it don't happen the way that you want it, and then you like it must be the it must be the enemy. No, it could be the Most High saying this is the right thing to do. This is what needs to happen. So let's be careful of that. And with that, I'm gonna ask you to give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna ask you to uh, leave a comment. I'm gonna ask you to subscribe. I don't want to ask you just to continue to walk and think and act in the will of the Most High because he will always do what's right in the name of his son, Yeshua HaMashiach.
and the power of the Holy Spirit. Be blessed.